Title I Support for Schools Title I is a federal grant program designed to give educational assistance to students living in areas of high poverty. The Title I program originated in 1965 when Congress passed the Elementary and Secondary Education Act and was reauthorized in 2001 with the passage of the No Child Left Behind Act. The purpose of Title I is to ensure that all children have a fair, equal, and significant opportunity to obtain a high-quality education and reach at a minimum proficiency on challenging state academic achievement standards and state academic assessments. Title I is a part of the largest federal education grant. To be eligible for Title I funding for the 2015-16 school year, a school in our district must have at least 50% of its students identified as economically disadvantaged. This percentage is determined by enrollment on the 40th day of school in the previous school year using the information collected through the Community Eligibility Provision Form, the Free and Reduced Meal Application, or Direct Certification. All Title I schools must adhere to the required components of Title I, including a parent's right to know. You are entitled to know how funds are currently being spent for all of our students and what is being planned for our school, the qualifications of the teachers assigned to teach your child, and if your child has been assigned or taught for four or more consecutive weeks by a teacher who is not highly qualified. You have the right to review the school's state report card and student progress information. Student progress will be reviewed and discussed during conferences and through other forms of communication. You have the right to know how your child's school is performing on tests and if the school and the district have achieved their goals for student achievement. You have the right to send your child to a safe school. You may change schools if your child is a victim of a violent offense while at school or in a school identified as unsafe. All Metro Nashville Public Schools are designated as safe schools. Our school community has developed a parent compact and a parent involvement policy which outlines student, staff, and parent responsibility that will be in place for the school year. It can be found on our school website. Our school relies on support from our parents to help raise student achievement. The administration, staff, and students extend an invitation to all parents and community members to partner with our school. Parents can support our school by attending family activities, conferences, and volunteering to be a member of our school planning committee. Title I funds are to be used th for the purpose of student achievement, staff development, and to build parent capacity to better support their child's educational attainment. In general, Title I funds are to be used to enhance the regular school program and should be consistent with the school improvement plan. These expenditures must be necessary, reasonable, and allowable. Allowable expenditures under Title I include supplemental staff, supplemental programs, supplemental materials and supplies, supplemental books, technology, professional learning, parent involvement, and extended learning. All expenditures must have a direct effect on raising student achievement and closing the gap. Parent involvement expenditures include supplies, open house, hospitality, training, and communication. Professional learning expenditures include conferences and seminars, collaboration with subject and grade level teams, continued learning opportunities. Your input is needed. All Title I schools must determine if their school will be a school-wide or targeted assistance program annually. Parents are asked to vote on the two options at the close of every school year in order for resources to be programmed over the summer and be ready for the start of the school year. Title I funds can be programmed only after the type of program school-wide or targeted assistance is determined. Our school chose school-wide as their choice at the end of last school year. A subsequ subsequent vote is held in the fall of the next school year to include new student families. We will be asking for your vote at the end of this slideshow. 
School-wide programs use funds and resources to upgrade the entire educational program of the school in order to raise the academic achievement for all students. A targeted assistance school uses funds for selected children who meet the criteria determined by the school by offering supplementary educational services in order to raise their academic achievement. Now it's time to vote. We will ask that you, through a show of hands, either choose yes or no. Would you like to be a school-wide school and use the funds for the entire school? If so, indicate yes now. And for those of you who say no, thank you very much for your time.